So originally I was going to release a sequel to my American Kaiju video, but I need a little more time to write the script. So I'm just going to yap about something else. Hopefully I can have it out a week after this video releases. I found this new drink called G Fuel. That should help. <laughs> Sponsor me. Anyway, spoilers for Marvel Spider-Man 2. You have been warned. Welcome to another episode of Thoughts to Chew On, the show where the chopping block gets fleshed out. And in May of this year, Marvel Comics released a preview for the summer event Venomverse Reborn. The first issue, which is supposed to come out next week, has a story that features a version of Venom for Marvel Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2's depiction of Venom is problematic for a variety of reasons. The main reasons are his characterization and the lack of credit to the creators who had their ideas assimilated to this version of Venom. Venom's wings at the end of the game and the spiral designs that feature on the Simio enemies are an homage to Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman's run on Venom, but their names were not featured in the credits, so to new fans or non-comic readers, this was an Insomniac Games original. The only thing everyone can agree on is that he looks cool and he has a fat ass. And toes to the freaks out there. So, at least seeing him would have been cool in an event that features Venoms throughout the multiverse. But Insomniac Games' Venom is absolutely cursed because his story is drawn by, allegedly, Tracer extraordinaire Greg Land. Oh my goodness! If you look at the images provided by Marvel and at the Venom site on Twitter, I'm not calling it X, these images are, in my opinion, the worst of Greg Land's tracing. It straight up looks like screen grabs from the game that were pasted onto the page. This page specifically looks like the scene where Venom roars in the middle of New York. To add insult to injury, the Venom site found another source that Greg Land uses in the book. For some reason, Venom is made small in a panel that's already small, but this render does not use Venom from Spider-Man 2, but from a Venom statue, but with Insomniac's Venom's head plastered onto it. It gets worse because a lot of Venom fans were frustrated that Eddie Brock was not the Venom in this game, with Harry Osborn being made the Lethal Protector in his stead. This is the second adaptation to do so. Disney XD's Ultimate Spider-Man uses Harry as a replacement for Eddie Brock. Other people have taken the mantle of Venom, but it was weird that it happened twice, and it's a common thing in Spider-Man adaptations to make odd changes and cannibalize off one another. So it just feels like a slap in the face to Venom fans who had this criticism of the game to see this problematic depiction of Venom literally plastered onto the body of Eddie Brock. To quote the Venom site, the cursed Eddie body with Harry's head, Dio? I wait! There's more! Allegedly, Greg Lance started posting the pages of his Venom story for sale when the book hadn't even come out yet, which led to more screenshots of Greg Lance's worst work. Greg Land's Venom story, Kiss the Ring, has Insom's Venom meet Null the King of Black, who was the main antagonist in the aforementioned Venom run by Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. I don't know if it was done on purpose because Stegman and Cates were snubbed by Insomniac and now their big bad is being used in tandem with Insom's Venom. Maybe it's an apology in some way, but when you use Greg Land, an artist that's just using game renders and passing it off as his own, it turns spiteful, in my opinion at least. The Venom site provided some screenshots, and not only was I shocked at how even in sketch or inked form, the tracing is disgusting, but look at what they did to Null. How did they take the most metal looking villain in the Marvel Universe and turn them into Greg Land slop? He literally looks like a Marvel zombie from Ultimate Fantastic Four, which is apt because he drew that too. It doesn't even end here because Greg Land is set to draw Spider-Man's tie-in series to another Venom-centric event called Venom War. I'm not going to make it my whole channel identity to shit on Greg Land, but I had to get this off my chest because in an industry with talented and hardworking artists, Greg Land once again steals the check from people who deserve it. And Marvel should be ashamed for hiring the laziest artist in the entire industry because he gets the job done. Thanks for watching. 
If there are any topics you want me to cover in the next thoughts that you want, let me know in the comments section below. And if you like the video and want to see more, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I love you, my patrons, Leocrid, Retroroy, Hack13, Neosai, Burbsai, the channel with the frequently long name, and Hachi for supporting the channel. And for $1 a month, your name will show up right here on top of early access to new videos. Love you guys and shalom.